Benji. <laughs> What's going on, Ivy? It's another vlog for you guys. Today is gonna be a little different. Um, I'm going to be vlogging my skin routine for you guys. How I wash my face every night and every morning. There's no munchkin, there's no baby boy, there's no Eddie. This vlog is just me. <laughs> um, so these are the products that I use. There's also another turmeric clay mask that I use. It's not sponsored, okay? None of these products are sponsored. Okay, but we will be claiming sponsorships all 2021. You know that's manifestation of the finest. Now, um, we're gonna go ahead and start with washing uh, my face, uh, just getting the oils off. If you guys want to know the name of the products specifically that I'm using, I'm going to leave the name of the products as well as a link in the description below. Again, like I said, it's not sponsored, they're just personally what I like, and so I've chosen to use them uh, faithfully. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and wash my face off with warm water. off my face you know clear off some of the oils um that we start that i usually start with and then i'm going to start with a cleanser and then what i like about these products is it's curated towards my actual skin tone as well as the texture of my skin i actually took about a 10 question quiz online um, so these products are specifically targeted towards my personal skin it's not like broad you know how you would go to a drugstore and purchase uh regular skin products or makeup products and it's tailored specifically for the general public now this was specifically curated based off of the answers that i provided on the quiz so let me go ahead and watch off my face i'm um, still here you guys can see you I'm just out of range just washing my face as you can see with warm water it's just warm water right now you guys So you just need a pea-sized amount. You don't need too much. You don't want to saturate your face with it. Because uh, what I like to do, why, why am I talking to y'all like y'all use this? I don't like to saturate my, my face with it. So I just put a pea-sized amount in my hand. Well, yeah, kind of like a pea-sized. Um, and then I just go ahead and massage it into my skin and you guys are looking at me but if you see me looking this way it's because my mirror is right here my bathroom mirror so you'll be looking at me while i look at my pretty self <laughs> okay and we just like to massage it in you know get it all absorbed in the pores um and don't forget your neck you know your neck is a part of your face. Well, it's not technically, but it's your upper extremity. When you start to get older, uh, you know, the neck wrinkles too, just like, just like the face. So I like to, to massage it all in. And you see my skin has absorbed it, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is run the water again and wash it off. Well, I'm washing my hands right now. So I'm going to wait for about five minutes. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and wash it off. All right, five minutes has passed, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the water on warm. Now you don't, I don't like to have it too hot because I don't want, my pores are already open and I don't really want to make my pores mad. I guess you could say so. I'm gonna use my washcloth here. Wash it off. Don't be afraid to, you know, 
go back over your skin. You gotta, we gotta be better to our skin. Don't forget your neck, Flo. You did your neck. Girl, you did your neck. You gotta be good to your skin. You know, you take care of your body. It takes care of you. So your skin is the largest organ on your body. So, in my opinion, it needs the most care. Okay, so now that that's done, and we're gonna move on to the specific scent, right? glasses sit so it doesn't really get a lot of sun there um, and then I suffer from discoloration just a little bit you know around my face but my t-zone mainly is the driest part of my my face the rest usually is oily so we're just gonna put a pea size amount of moisturizer I mean serum moisturizer glass serum onto my face you really don't need a lot. A little goes a long way when it comes to this stuff. It's so good. Like, I literally live by this stuff. Like, I have to have it. My skin loves it. Loves it. Um, just a little bit. It's very strong. Very, very, very strong. And it costs, I mean, it's, it's worth its money, let me say that, it's worth its money. the next day because it was for it was our anniversary and it was also the love day valentine's day so you know your girl skipped out on a night routine <laughs> um so we're gonna go ahead and let this sit for about six six minutes not as long as we let the cleanser sit um like i said let me go ahead and show you guys again so you know what's the fur on um, so we're going to let this sit for about 10 minutes and uh, while that's happening, you know, I'm just going to let it sit. Uh, why don't you guys grab a snack and come on back and we'll be back in about. All right. 10 minutes. Um, as you can see, it's kind of got a little bit. I wouldn't say hard on my face, but my face is very sticky, kind of stiffish. So what we're going to do is run the water again, same process as before, and we're going to wash it off. Oh, the amount of hydration that is given to my skin right now is like I'm loving it warm water only warm water very like to the point of like almost cold because like I said your pores are already open so no need to they're pretty open so no need to you know continue to abuse them okay now the this is the coup de gras my favorite part this is a turmeric clay bath. It's not sponsored, so I'm not gonna show you the brand, but like I told you, link in the description, boo. This is my favorite, favorite thing to use because not only does it enhance like the look of my skin, but it gives me this wonderful glow. You know, I feel like I could just pose on a, um, on a movie set, you know, on a red carpet, because it gives me a glow, but um, it's, it's turmeric and aloe vera, if, if you guys wanna know. And it looks like this. And I've got this really cool 
brush with it so that I can brush my face, kind of like paint, you know, paint this portrait. Okay, this is Mona Lisa, boo, but I'm finished. <laughs> um, and it works for all skin types. Uh, definitely check them out if you guys have the time. So what I'm gonna do now is so I'm just gonna go ahead and paint my face uh, in no particular pattern. This reminds me of the time that I went to paint and sip. We went to paint and sip. Eddie and I went to paint and sip. Give you guys a little story time while you watch me paint my face. Um, we went to paint and sip and it was so fun, you guys. Like, so fun, Arnie. You just don't understand. And you always wonder what you can do. And you know, it's like the little things God shows you. Like, I didn't really understand the whole you can do it if you put your mind to it situation until I went to paint tip, paint tip. And I know that that sounds kind of juvenile, but in all reality, when I seen the painting that the instructor had that she said we were going to end up, what our canvases were gonna end up look, looking like by the end of the night, I'm like, girl, no, you're crazy. There's no way I can paint that. But she took, she was so nice and so sweet and she took us step by step and we ended up like oops, look i'm over here talking to to y'all arguing i'm getting it in my eyebrow i don't need to get it in my eyebrow now um she was so nice and so sweet and we had such a dope time that our paintings actually looked really good like that was my first time ever painting a portrait of anything as an adult and it looked you know in my opinion, it wasn't too shabby. Like, I was very proud of myself. And I know Eddie was proud of his masterpiece, too. And don't worry, um, at the end of this video, I will be showing you what those portraits look like. Um, we definitely have to go back to a uh, paint and sip for our date night again. That was so fun. We went to a place out here called Pinot. You know, like, like uh, kind of like Pinot Grigio. Pino's palette. Why did I say Pinot? <laughs> I meant Pino's palette. You know, Pino is like a pun for wine because it was pink. But it was so dope. Like, and you know, but there was intermissions and we took breaks and got to change our water, change our brushes. They had they played super nice music. The wine was great. Like, it was amazing. So we're gonna let this sit for about 10 minutes. This is the longest of the process like this is the longest length um as far as waiting goes the time get your words together <laughs> this is the longest waiting time length i know i'm looking crazy like literally looking at y'all honey i feel like i'm looking very jim carrey-ish right now i'm feeling like a mask over up in here right um so don't judge me, all right? And I know I had this shirt on in the last vlog. You ain't gotta tell me, but it's been washed and dried and I love this shirt, so I'm wearing it again, okay? So we're gonna let this sit for 10 minutes um, and then we're gonna come back. I'm gonna wash my face off and then we have two more steps to go, which would be the moisturizer to end the night and the toner. But of course, it would be the toner first and then the moisturizer because we leave that on all night. You don't have to take it off. That's what gives you your your skin that that little kiss, you know, while you're sleeping, honey. So we gonna let this sit for ten minutes. I'm gonna go check out one of my favorite shows for about ten minutes. Don't worry, I'm gonna set my alarm because I already know, <laughs> baby. I already know what you're saying, Flo. How you gonna come back in ten minutes if you get into your show? You're gonna forget about us, honey. I got you. I love y'all. I will be back in ten minutes. Okay. See you later. Back in 10 minutes, my face is like kind of hard. I don't know if y'all can see, but see how hard it's got? How dry? That's a good sign. See, like I told y'all, how I told y'all my T-zone was the driest part of my face. Ooh, let me back up. It's kind of personal. The T-zone was the, the uh, driest on my face. See, my nose is super white or lighter and my T-zone, this is everywhere. 
is lighter because that's the driest part of my face. So that's the part of my face that needs the most moisture. And with this turmeric and aloe vera mask, that's the place that I like to target the most. That and some of my problem areas are like my frown lines because I'm a person that's very jovial and I love to laugh and smile a lot, which, some, which is a great thing, but not so much for your face, right? Because when you laugh or smile a lot, sometimes you get wrinkles from your muscles being used to having the memory of staying like that and sometimes that causes kind of frown lines and that might not be cute all the time so i like to focus on that area as well anyway talk too much let's go ahead and wash this off and then we're gonna go ahead and put on the toner i'm gonna show you guys that i like to use the only thing i really don't like about tuesdays is there's nothing to watch on tv on tuesday night there's nothing to watch on TV. Eddie and I are like, what are we gonna mind? All our shows, we love to DVR our shows. Like, even though we're usually in bed around the time they come on, sometimes we'll find a movie that we like to watch or, you know, catch our favorite, one of our favorite YouTubers and the time will just pass us and we'll be like, oh, oh goodness, Elf's Kitchen is on or Mary That First Side is on and already started, but no need to fear because we have a DVR, so you can pause and rewind by TV if you want. Now, make sure I get my eyebrows cap because she didn't got that clay up on there. Uh, but yeah, hope you had a guy. Hope you guys had a good day in this COVID world. Uh, it was pretty awesome. I made some catfish and spaghetti for lunch. Gonna make some birria tacos for dinner. Let me know, Army, if y'all wanna watch how I how I create uh, my birria. Or you know anything you wanna see me cook, see, you know, just let me know. Um so yeah. Make sure you got everything on. But before I do that, I want to use my calming toner. Um, and I love it because it's like rich, witch hazel and rose water. <sighs> but it's so bar. So I'm going to grab some cotton balls and then we're going to go ahead and... Alright, alright. So I got me a couple cotton balls. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply the toner just a little bit. Y'all got to excuse me, okay? You grow a little bit on the thick pack and run a stick. But anyway, I applied the toner. Ball. Oh. And the smell of it is divine, you guys. It smells so good. Like, it smells like how you would want your grandma's house to smell as a kid. Like, you know, fresh, flowery. It smells like a garden, actually. And it's from Burt's Bees. It's called Burt's Bees Calming Toner with rich hazel and rose. I wish you guys could smell it. Like, if you ever wondered what my face smells like, go to Walgreens and find it. <laughs> okay. Second cotton ball. And then, and then, treat your skin. Don't cheat your skin, you know? And this is just. For me, it's just to soothe and nourish my skin. This is what this toner is for. To tone, smooth, soothe, and nourish. And you can follow up like that's why the moisturizer is the last step. Because after you tone, you're supposed to moisturize. Don't forget that neck, baby. Don't forget that neck. Alright. Last but not least. I moisturizer, that 
this. Like I said, I apply it in the daytime when I wake up and I do my face. I do pretty much the same thing in the morning for my face, except for the white bottle. Is a different bottle. overnight okay so i do i don't argue with it because like i told you my skin is dry it's as dry as the desert that i live in all right so here we go oh oh, 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 oh. i just heard the days have no Tastes even better. It's 100% edible, so you know significant other kisses. You they gonna be like, ooh, ooh, ooh baby. Mm. Come here, girl. Come here, boy. What is that to you? It tastes so good. Comment down below what you guys use for your life. 
Thanks for watching. Anytime you have any products, tips, or tricks you would like me to use, let me know in the comments. Um, and also, what you guys want to see next for me for my day, uh, you know, let you guys peek in a little bit. And I love you guys so much, Arnie. I will see y'all in the next video. I uh, will be back with Munchie Baby Boys. And pretty soon, this is so much fun. I love you guys. Don't forget to give this video a big old thumbs up. Yeah.